Ferrari, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Benvenuto Chrysler. In case you missed it, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep are now pure Italian, 100% owned by Fiat. The car guys from Turin bought what they didn't already own for $4.3 billion earlier this month. In fact, the entire American auto industry looks a lot different than it did just five years ago, and that's a very good thing. We made some changes several years ago when things got tough, you know, uh, more customer friendly and no pressure policy and it's really paid off now that things are better. And you can see just folks are more comfortable and more disposable income. After the bailouts and bankruptcies at Chrysler and GM and some scary times at Ford, the big three are coming off their best year since 2007. All told, they sold 15.6 million vehicles last year and they're making lots of money. 2014 may not be quite as good as 2013, but the mood at this year's Detroit Auto Show will be more upbeat than it has been in years. Fiat CEO Sergio Marchionne has turned things around at Chrysler. He's trying to build a global company that can compete with the likes of Toyota and VW. Then there's GM. I'm Ed Whitaker from General Motors. A lot of Americans didn't agree with giving GM a second chance. It isn't government motors anymore. It made nearly $8 billion last year, and it's getting a new CEO, GM lifer Mary Barra. She's the first woman to run one of Detroit's big three. Last of the big three is Ford. CEO Alan Mulally is staying put, but he's tinkering with America's best-selling model, the F-Series pickup. Ford is switching much of the structure from steel to aluminum to reduce its weight and improve mileage. But it's a gamble. The F-Series has been America's best seller for 32 years straight. Ford sells, on average, 2,000 of these trucks every day. So I gotta confess, I, I drive a really sexy Honda minivan. Okay. They are sexy. <laughs> you know, when I say all the cars are great today, they're all made well. It's not like years ago where there was some junk, but you look for your, your differences individually. Like of course, where the big three go from here is going to depend on the economy. People don't spring for new cars if they don't have the money. But compared to a few years ago, when the wheels nearly came off the American auto industry, the big three look like they're roaring again. Yeah.